recording. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Hey guys, I'm Layla. So today we're gonna be checking out Rock of Vileti, and she's a brand new legendary support orc champ that's gonna be added to the game very, very soon, update 5.80. You see here, she's a void Lego. So she's gonna be hard to get as well. And I have to say, she's probably one of my favorite champs in this update. I mean, look at her aesthetically. She is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This banner is so cool. And I don't know what, what all this green is. If it's like oozing, like, I don't know what that is, but that looks amazing. I love her aesthetics and her wings. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at those wings. Just really, really cool. I think they absolutely killed it with her design. She is beautiful. Love her so very, very much. And she has a fantastic kit. So she's going to be a reviver on this faction, okay? So her A1 is Icker of Life. She attacks an enemy and also heals the ally with the lowest HP by 10% of her max HP. A2 is called Oozing Blessing. So yeah, it's Ooze, I guess, on her banner. Oozing Blessing removes all debuffs from all allies, then places increased attack buff in a shield equal to 25% of her max HP. So again, we want to build her with probably as much HP as we can. She's a support champ, right? Plasm Rebirth revives all dead allies with 50% HP and 50% turn meter. Then places block debuffs on allies. Now what's nice is she'll still use her A3 even if there's no dead allies and she'll still place block debuffs even if there's no dead allies. And her passive is called Creep. The active effect on this is at the start of each turn fills the turn meter of all allies by 10% and the passive at the start of each turn, places a continuous heal on the ally with the lowest HP, but it will not place it on her. And her aura is ally speed in all battles by 19%. So I think, I mean, she's just amazing. I love her kit. I love her design. Now books, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she only takes nine books. All right, now with masteries, I actually didn't even finish doing her masteries. I basically just went down the support tree. I wanted to get her. So we want to max HP by 810. Then we know she does shields, so increase the value of shields. I also want to increase in the value of her heals. I did also go to timely intervention, which increases her turn meter by 20% whenever an ally hero drops below 25%. So for now, I basically just kind of went down the support tree with her. And I'll show you what I put her in. So right now I did put her in speed and immortal. And so for her stats, I have her at almost 84,000 HP. Cause again, what she does is base off of HP, right? So I have her 231 speed and looking at her abilities, it doesn't look like she needs accuracy. So I really didn't bother with the accuracy very much on her. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to go take her into faction wars. All right, so here we are in Orc Faction War Stage 21. Now, you are going to see down here I have Old Hermit Helping Hands Jorg. Usually, I run him in this comp, but I'm actually going to take her instead. We like her as ally speed in all battles, and obviously, she's going to be just a way better reviver. She's going to have her shields. You know, there's so much more that she's going to bring to the table that Old Helping Hands Jorg is not going to be able to have. So we're going to run her with Iron Brago Seer. I love Rask. I pretty much always run Rask in these comps and Zargala. We go yeah and i didn't build out all her masteries either it's always nice to see what these champs can do without like the best gear and without you know full masteries and all of that because it kind of gives you an idea for how they could do does she do poisons i don't think she does a poison she looks like she should because she's oozing right she's got like the ooze on her banner there but yeah, aesthetically, like she just looks so cool. Love it. And so what she'll do too is she does, she removes the debuffs as well too. <laughs> so Twitch chat's asking for 1x speed to see the animations. What we're gonna do is you guys know anytime we show off champs, we always take them into campaigns so you can see how their animations look. All right, now we're on the boss. Now we're on the boss. 
But what is great too is again, I mean, she will, she does clear the debuffs too. Oh, which legendary does the poison point sensitivity? That is Theodore. He's really neat. Yeah, Theodore. I know people are calling him Theodore as well too. His name's Theo. I guess we could call him Theo. We could do that one another day. Right now, we're all about Raka. There we go. On the boss. So there she did her continuous heal on the alley with the lowest HP, which happened to be Aaron Brago at the time. And I'm definitely a fan. Like, I know I was saying in here, you know, I got Vrask in here. I think Vrask is such a solid epic. He's such a good one. I'm trying to remember if this one's still built in Relentless. I had, I think initially when I got him, I put my Vrask in Relentless. There we go. The animations are great too. Vrask is MVP for Orc Faction work. He's so good, guys. He is solid. Look at that. So I know the boss keeps stealing buffs, but Seer just keeps wiping them off, which is fine. So again, just absolutely solid. I really, really like her. Now, again, she's also a Void Legendary, which means she's probably going to be hard to get, unfortunately. But again, I love her so much more, especially compared to like the other options we have in Orc, is we have Shaman and we have Hermit Jorg, right? I never really was a fan of Hermit Jorg all that much. But again, like I, I love her. Absolutely love her. You've been pairing Frask with Iron Helm and Stun for Faction Wars? Oh yeah, that sounds great. That sounds great for sure. What kind of comps are you guys running in 21? And what do you think of Raka? Do you think that she would help out your, your Faction Wars at all? Think she'd help out your teams? What are you guys thinking? Yeah, she's a revive. Okay, so Twitch chat's asking about Raka. Exactly, so she's a reviver. She does shields, continuous heals, removes debuffs, and she's a reviver. And she boosts turn meter and stuff too. So she's so good. Your orcs are bad, so she would help. Honestly, I think orcs were one of my last faction wars to clear. They were definitely one of my last ones that I had to work on. You know? So I think she probably really could have helped me early in too. I had to use old Hermit Jorg, you know? Again, you make do with the champs you have for Faction Wars, right? Orcs were your last Faction Wars? Actually, yes. Yeah. So if you guys are watching, leave me some comments. What was your last faction to clear? My absolute last faction was Skinwalkers. I want to say my last four were Demon, Night Rev, Orc, and Skinwalker were my last four, with Skinwalker being my absolute last. Skinwalker's your worst, orcs. But yeah, I mean, I love Raka. I think she's amazing. Like, I would love to just add her to my roster. She looks amazing on top of the fact that she has a fantastic kit. Just love her so much. On orcs, she used Bonekeeper and Destroy. Yeah, I want to say, so I use a destroy set to clear Night Rev and Skinwalker as well. All right, so here we are. You're going to see, I mean, Seer, of course, basically, she's she's our damage dealer, right? She did two mil. Raka ends up doing about 730,000 heals. Not a lot of damage, but she's not really there for damage, right? We have Iron Brago, Zargala, also, you know, carrying the rear here with Seer. But again, so we saw, you know, Raka is solid. Again, we didn't we didn't have to revive anybody. We didn't have to worry about that. Between the continuous heals, the shields, just everything she was throwing out, my orcs were never in any danger. You know, they weren't gonna die. None of them were. So they were all completely fine. On top of, you know, Vrask tossing out his, you know, what he does as well too. And then of course, you know, her with her turn meter boost as well too so she's definitely solid but what we're gonna do is let's take her into campaign so we can see how she runs and see her animations better brutal 12-3 with raka let's check her out oh, i like how she oh that was neat you guys see that that was like a spell and had this really cool circle around her i love how she jumps up in the air kind of like madam guys she she jumps up in the air like madam does i love it i mean this might take a while but I love the little jump. Oh, she's just so cool. Yep. 
Yeah, see that? The little circle? The circle with like the little totems that drops down. Yeah, the animations are good. They definitely, you know, I will say there's a lot of things we can complain about on this game. But some things that they do very well, again, is like character design, animations, like all of that is so good. And of course, their commercials, the CGI is fantastic. They just do such a good job, guys. They really do. Yeah, definitely. Great animations. Great job from Playroom. I absolutely agree. Like they just, they, they nailed it. They did such a good job. They really did. Just beautiful. I love it. I mean, obviously, guys, she's not going to be a campaign farmer anytime soon. Aesthetically, always on point. You like that her skills have different colors? Yeah. And you can see that. It just keeps boosting turn meter. Look at that. Yeah, so, I mean, definitely, she could be fast. There we go. So, again, I mean, that was like a minute and a half. Not going to be, you know, a campaign farmer anytime soon. But, guys, leave me some comments down below. What do you think of Raka? Do you love her? Are you looking forward to maybe trying to pull her? What do you think of her compared to the other Void Legos in the Void Pool? Leave me some comments down below. I would love to know what you guys think. I swear, <laughs> Layla, you're not recording, by the way. <laughs> Cuts! <sighs> I swear I'm a professional. I swear I know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more videos up here in the playlist on the top right.